I love Hatsune Miku. It's nothing to do with the music that's playing. I just love her. That's to do with a tweet we read, but... It's a whatever tweet, so don't worry about it. I was like, do I want to do a shorter going live notification if I'm going to be doing this more often, but no. Fuck, I haven't been posting the bot below the post like I was doing before. I need to start doing that again. Oh, if only I could automate all that stuff. Maybe someday. Oh, it's uh, Sonic. It's Green Hill Zone. Hey, bot. You're nauseous in here, you're talking to no one. happened to the specter why did it save us at as, 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 as a jiffy i guess i need to save pictures from mastodon otherwise they're gonna be in a fucked up file format The Discord CDN is my enemy. The Discord CDN has been determined to be an enemy of the stream. Someone reacted with... Uh, is that it? What's up? What's up, streamer? Wait a minute, I'm the streamer. What's up? <laughs> Not the streamer. We're just gonna do, uh... We're just gonna... First of all, we're gonna get rid of the stream starting soon, because the stream's starting now. And then I'm gonna reload this thing. It is so hot. So we're only going to stream for like an hour today. And then, oh, nice. Oh, I bet you get a very nice breeze up there. When I stream, we're going to do some code practice for like an hour. And then we're probably going to go uh, run some errands, go for a walk or maybe a bike ride. Just to spend some time outside because it's so gorgeous. Um, but 
like I said in my going live announcement and like I put yeah right it's like one hour um two, four to five times a week listen it's a work in progress Nevis. it's a work in progress you know you we we gotta go we gotta go at our own pace Hey, look, it's a random favorite reply. Those only happen, like, those have a chance one in a hundred to happen. So, you're today's lucky 100, Manny. Um, but yeah, but the thing is, if we did a schedule, it'd be around this time, probably, because it's like... This is just what works best for me. I like to, like, get up, have breakfast do morning pages go do some sort of physical activity oh she fell in a basin she'll clear up after after people say more shit um what was i saying anyways 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 we're gonna do a little bit more of what we were doing yesterday uh, which is just practicing data structures and stuff and we're gonna keep using the insufferable website for now um, when I get sick of the insufferable website I'll just move to a different website but let's see Start the timer. A more efficient approach would employ a Python set. So we were doing... Right, so last time, when we left off, we were like, they were like, hey, why don't you solve this problem where you have to... You take two lists. Um... And then, no, you take one list and you like find out only the unique elements in it. And the way I did it, and I did a lot of timing stuff just for my own purposes. Let's just run this. And you can see Everything happens in like times 10 to the minus 5 time. And then, um, and so basically, was what I was timing was okay, I'm creating this set. I'm like basically, I decided to use an if statement because. If element in set is such a cheap operation, as I've been told, it's uh, it's on average uh, oh one time, right? You just do it once, um, thanks to the power of hashes, um, ostensibly. And then it says um, when you find, and so it's sorting into like ones that have duplicates, and then ones that and then it's just like it creates a set that's just the same list because again the set's gonna be just the list minus the duplicates so by just adding them it's it's basically the same as if you like put the calculation if you put the list into the set using this set um constructor which anyways could even see the definition, except it's ugly. Anyways, just iterates over all the values. And then this just times, because you have to subtract one set from the other, and I was curious how long that takes. It actually does take a little bit of time. It takes, you know, six. If, if there are seconds, there's like one, two, three, four, five. So hold on. So three is a millisecond, so it's like 61 
microseconds, I guess. Oh, fuck. It's, um... Ascor. It's fucking Ascor, dude. Sixty-one microseconds, just like I said. Nice. Terry time, Terry times the half life of radium two seventeen. So we could have lost fourteen. Um, radium atoms in the time that happened, or like 20 moons. Um, regardless, it all happens very quickly. So let's see if this is actually how the, the insufferable website wants me to do it. Yep. If num in seeing repeated dot at num else seen dot at num. It's literally what I did. Ah but they want me to return it as a list. A list they say. Well no matter. Ooh, we do it like this. That is not, that is not how we get the answer. Uh, it still took about the same, um, it still took the same amount of time because I guess the list operation takes as much time as creating a new set. No, this is. This was a little faster. 10 to the minus 6. This was 6 microseconds. Wait a second. How come? Calculating a new set is quicker. No, this time it was 4 microseconds. Maybe that first time was a flu? Hmm. Four microseconds, that's what it is. Seven microseconds. Okay, but like... Like, this could literally be like my computer, like... W look! Oh, but this was 11 microseconds. This is, just, this is just... Oh, but this is also the wrong one. Oh, but 69! Look! We got 69... Um, we got 69 microseconds. That would be a great time for someone to redeem the nice reward. Moving right along. <laughs> Elements unique to each of the two given lists. Yeah, so how would we do this? If we had two lists... Um, and they had different values... We would do it with fucking magic or something. Let me try to think through it. Oh, 
say list one has values from 0 to 100 and list two Values from seventy five to one hundred and fifty. So there's a set of elements that are the same for each list. And I believe I just need to do something similar to what I did last time. We don't need to time anything. now, we just want to get the answer. Oh. So if the idea is that we want to find all the elements that are unique to set, it says unique to set one and two. But we want to return one for each, right? So we would do we would turn each of them into set and hello why did you run a program? Who told you to run a program? Go away. I go away. This is ghost terminal. Go away. Ah, uh, yare yare. Sugiya. Hmm. Okay, now we have two sets, and what I need is elements that are in set 2 and not in set 1. So that would be set 2 unique equals set 2 minus set 1. And set 1 unique equals set one minus set two and then I can do print F let's use an F string who doesn't love an F string I do I do um then we can say you Elements in list one are what we can put right here list set one and list set two Um, the, don't think this quite worked. <laughs> um, so unique elements in list two, which goes from 75 to 150, should really only be this, just has all of them. It says all the elements including the ones in set two. And why did that happen? If you take set one and you say, okay, subtract, we did this before, 
Oh, because these aren't the... Ah, dude. Lamau. Alright. So now the first one says it's everything up to 74, and the second one is everything after 100. And that is correct. That is what we want. I keep hearing these Discord notification pings, and I have no idea. What, oh, I know exactly where they're at. Because live and uh, join um, Celeste Court. April Court, Crunchy April Court, Spanish. All right, all right. Then that is what we wanted. Wants me to, or it's like, hey, you can sort it. Oh, all right. Let's just let's fucking time it. took 77 microseconds um if i just do it's less sorted no it's sorted list a couple times. That would be one, two, three. That's 181 microseconds. So sometimes it goes into the triple digits microseconds and that's without sorting. Also have to sort oh are these the sorted ones you also have to sort consistently in the triple digits microseconds not quite 87 94 105 so sorting a list is pretty quick Hi, Nasi. Hi, Pop Time. Oh. Does Pop Time speak French? I think Pop Time speaks French, and whenever someone says my name, we post cats. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, I'm also just realizing that. Oh man, so you know how we used to have a dog called Kitty, now I'm a dog called Minu? What happened? I must have, 
I must have done it in her honor without realizing. I miss Kitty. Kitty was a good dog. Um... I like, was not even thinking, I just, I really only like, I just like how the name sounds, okay? I just like, I just think the new sounds good. I don't mind the association with cats, but like, how did it happen again that we got a dog with a cat name? History repeats itself. Moving on, uh, this is basically what I did. The solution is considerably more efficient than the naive approach, operating at a type complexity of the maximum length of lakes 1 or lakes 2. So it actually only runs for as long as the longer list. Because it needs to do... Um, I mean, plan that it can parallelize these operations because it. Well, but yeah, but it's like. It would be like one, two, three, four times n, but again, you don't. They don't care about constants, and n will be the length of the longest list. Not really, because for, for this operation, for one of the operations, it will be able to use, use the length of the shorter list, but near enough uh, when, talk, when dealing with big O stuff. So far, we've seen how Python sets and dictionaries complemented, complemented by... <clears throat> Lesson summary. So far, we've seen how Python sets and dictionaries complemented by their operations, can be invaluable tools in resolving standard algorithmic problems. Moreover, I trust that you can see how these structures and their operations correspond to real-life problems that software engineers might encounter in their jobs. Sure, dude, sure. Be aware that understanding the underpinning theory of how these operations function at a low level can assist you in making informed decisions about when to employ them and when to refrain from doing so. Coupled with practice, this understanding is crucial to mastering these topics and will eventually yield dividends by enabling you to write more efficient code. I do think uh, writing more efficient code is always good. I feel like I've skirted really long on just the... Uh, the idea that like, oh, I'm not doing anything that complex, so it's okay if I do things the dumb way. But as I move forward and I start doing things that are more complex, like if Favot, if I want Favot to be like in a million channels someday, well, maybe not a million channels, there's a lot of fucking channels. But in a hundred channels, a thousand channels, could Favot had a thousand friends? Can I get to 1,000 followers? Can I get to 100 subscribers today? Uh, hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the stream. Um, and remember if that if you have an Amazon Prime account, then you get one free sub a month. And 20% of Twitch viewers don't realize that they have a prime sub just sitting right in their basement or whatever they keep prime subs um so yeah uh all right let's see what happens next practice exercises to consolidate our understanding of these topics covered in this lessons we'll move forward with some practice problems by solving these problems you can apply what you learn fostering your understanding and enhancing your comfort level with Python set and dictionary operations. So stick around and happy coding.
Let's go, cosmonaut. Leave no integer behind. Oh, okay, I'll read. I'll read it out loud. Could I do a silly voice for Cosmo? Let me see. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. <clears throat> Hold on to your tail, Voyager. We're in the midst of an integers war. Separated into two integer lists. We have to find the common integers in both lists. Remember, we only need the unique ones. Your mission is to compute a new set of common integers for those common heroes in a descending honor roll. No number repeats nor resists the gravitational pull. Make sure you deliver in the right format. Each set can contain up to 10 to the 4 integers, ranging from 10 to the, to Nick J <laughs> Ranging from negative 10 to the 6 to 10 to the 6 inclusive. Output should be a list of unique integers existing in both sets in descending orders. Let's go, cosmonaut. Leave no integer behind. So the first thing I need to know is... Um... I need to know if you can reverse the sorted method uh is there can you do this could i do could i just if i just throw in a true here it's not a cart. It's not a quark, is it? Totally, it's a quark. Let's see what happens. Okay. Of course, it's a quark. Why wouldn't it be a quark? It's just find elements that are the same. And so it would be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It's just ones that are the same. So how do you find the two elements that a set has in common. If I just take, I need to take the intersection. And we did this before by subtract. If I subtract this set from this set, elements appearing in both sets. I will get only these elements. Jesus Christ, I just did this. Uh -huh. It's not subtracting set 2 to set 1. It's more like 1 minus set 2 minus set 1. And she was enlightened. Um, but hold on. This one was just one list, and I had to find other ones. This one was one list, and I had to find... So this, this is the opposite of this, right? This was find the unique elements in each. 
But this one had me finding repeated elements in a set of two. But I can just do that again, why not? For elements in set one. Element or element in set one. If element in set two but it's not the smartest way to do it, this is the dumb way to do it. It's dumb. Is it though? There has to be a, I feel like there has to be an operation we can use here. Like, like what I'm looking for, if I subtract, all right, what happens if I subtract, if I naively just say, okay, return set two, my set two, minus set one, right? It returns precisely what I don't want. But if I then take if I add both sets hold on. If I add both sets, that flattens it. But if I add both sets and then I subtract Okay, I'm doing it with an if. If set one Hello. If element in set two And that's it. You don't need to do it again. Well, now it's it's not. Element in set one. If element in set two, oh well, possibly because I need to do return sorted list output set reverse equals two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, minus four, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So, let's try it. That is correct. Nicely done. 
Ready for the next challenge? I wonder if I had done this in the stupidest way possible, if he had gone, hmm, I'm not sure. Or if he would always just tell us that you, tell you that you're correct. Yo, look. All right, Voyager, here's your next mission. Your objective is to identify all the elements in a list of integers that are repeating their ugly mugs more than once. They could be negative, and in no particular order, just to keep you on your toes. Your final output should be a list of these duplicate numbers. The other? Doesn't matter. Maybe they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What is happening here? Am I shooting? Cosmo, what kind of shit are you getting up to out there in space? Space cowboy? These motherfuckers! I think, I think they, I think Cosmo's supposed to be like an Ein. It's supposed to be like a fucking Ein Cowboy Bebop X-Spy. Look at this perfect, beautiful boy. You can't be him, Cosmo. Give it up. Sorry, Cosmo. <laughs> You don't need... You don't need me to give you this much shit. <laughs> He's doing his job. Uh, what the fuck am I looking for? Didn't I already do this? It's a list, so what you do is you'd say... Don't do that. That would make us do it twice. Four element in nums. If element motherfucker with element. Element in nums. Element in num set. Offending list. Sort of pen element, so we're doing a pen operations, but an a pen operation should be about as short as a set add operation, right? Right? The show, the show. Um, Try it out. Return offending list. Alright, well, it didn't work. Yeah, cause I forgot. I, for, I forgot about Cosmo the Space Dog because I only knew about Laika. Which one's Cosmo?
Oh, Cosmo is the one who's a, a fictional character, I see. The security chief of the space station of nowhere and a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Good for you, Cosmo. Good for you. Who knows? Maybe he defected. Maybe he's Cosmo's grandson. I right, saw. So it's wrong. No, it's right. 8 7 minus 1, 2, 3, none. Okay. Uh, let's, do, let's do some timing tests. Mr. Freeman. We're like in physics. Unsupported type. So, using appending to a list, it takes approximately eighty-one microseconds. Sometimes as much as one hundred and twenty-nine microseconds. that area right and so if instead of doing an offending list it does want me to return a list though so I would have to do offending set And then I would have to do list of ending set. If I do this, we still get the right answer. Consistently, but it takes takes the same amount of time, dude. It's the same. I don't know if it's the same in the thousands of thousands, but it's pretty much the same at this for three outputs, you know, so uh, go with it. Hit me, Cosmo. You can only do so many practice problems a day without paying. You're a data analyst for Universal Research. <laughs> one second, one second, one second. All right, Space Voyager, here's a real-world situation. You're a data analyst for a universal retail conglomerate managing two clothing stores. Let's call them Space Threads and Galaxy Garments. You have two lists named Inventory 1 and Inventory 2, representing the clothing items from these stores. Now, your prime mission is to figure out the clothes that are exclusive to each store. <sighs> Note that the letter casing is not important, so items like t-shirt and t-shirt are considered the same. Return all exclusive clothes sorted in alphabetic and older. The length of this list can range from as few as no items to as many as star cluster. How many stars in a star cluster? But as many as what? 
items in a star cluster? There's zero room for error, kid. Now get to it. Where does this dog get off calling me kid? Hmm. Convert all items to uppercase. What if I want to convert them to lowercase? Hmm. I wonder if their type checking is using... If their check is going to use uppercase. Well... We need to return ones that are exclusive. So it's two lists. We return two lists. We return a tuple with two lists. See, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay. Set one equals set of the list that's made. Oh my god. I can't tell if this is going to be bad or good, but it could be the set. Not the right way to do it, dude. We should do it all in one spot. So for element in inventory one. If element dot if upper hmm. it is upper, but you do the string upper. If element dot upper So the way we did it before was just, just subtracting. So I really think, I really think, oh, then I have to turn things back into lists. Oh, let's just do it. Um, set one equals element for element element dot upper for element in inventory one and set two element dot upper for element in inventory two and then we can literally just return list set one set two sorted. Close. 
actually convert them to set. So I'm doing list comprehension here. And not sure if there's a better way to do it. Uh, one second. Well, you know what? I'll just run some timers. First, let's make sure. What's your problem? I don't like this. Because I don't have the parentheses after upper the method name. The method name. Hat shirt, belt boots, empty empty, empty coat dress skirt. So that's the solution. So now let's do some timing tests. Like we enjoy doing. So this takes, again, kind of the same amount of time. Makes me think that at this point, it's really just a quirk. This is just the fastest that a program could possibly run. So doing this isn't actually going to tell me anything. At least not if I do it like this. I'd have to do it. I have to do both ways in one. And I'm just not going to bother with it gonna say list comprehension is gonna have to be good enough I guess I could ask Claude or chat GPT what they think about it yeah okay I am so good at this thank you Cosmo Mastering algorithmic problems. Lesson three, practice one, practice two, lesson four. You can't jump right to the practice. How many lessons are in this set? In this, it's eight lessons, and we've done three. And then, it's gonna be the exact same thing, but for sort and searching algorithms, then linked lists, stacks and queues, then trees and graphs. And I can, I could jump, but I don't think I should jump. I think, I think we have been learning. I think even if it's a little slow, the only danger is that like at some point I'm going to get too bored and I'm going to be like, I don't want to do it anymore. And then I'll have to find some other way to keep going. Uh, we also have seven minutes 
uh, which, you know, maybe we probably we just leave it there right now. It was about an hour, a little over an hour stream. Um, and then it's obviously a good stopping point. Let me see if there's someone cool I can raid. Person's ooh chilling. Oh, yeah, someone else is doing software engineering, the person I met the other day. I'm going to send you over to her. Let me see. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, if you want to see more of this content, please let me know. You can let me know by telling me here on Twitch. You can whisper me. You can DM me on Discord. You can join the Discord. Here's the link to the Discord. Um, please like and follow the stream. I think, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna keep trying this and see see where it takes us. Um. So thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow or on Friday. And, um... Whoa, the raid channel menu has been redesigned. Uh... You understand? I guess you watch his soap videos. But uh, let's go. We are unable to raid enemy valley at this time. Okay. Can I raid someone else? I'm going to raid one of the people. I'm gonna raid one of my followers. I don't know why that didn't work, but if it didn't work, I'm not gonna try it again. Uh, well, instead... Instead... You'll get... Shoujo. Let's me, let me send you to Shoujo, because Shoujo's nice. Is it about hitting the start rate button before I and stream no this is this seems like it's gonna work all right thank you so much take care everyone see you next week bye